Well, hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to part two of the Coastal Waters Showcases, guys. Yes, there are so many sea creatures, mostly uh, tropical fish, but there are over 400 separate varieties of fish. Uh, yesterday in the first video, we did tangs, mori eels, unicorn fish, tuna, bull eye fish, silver sweep, squid, butterfly fish and butterfish damselfish and the sergeant major fish guys today we're going to start with the clownfish and we got over i think we nearly got uh 40 45 different clownfish to show you but we're going to go through another three chests of fish and as you noticed all the fish are here from yesterday's video uh the it is now available for you to download but yet at the moment you have to go to the discord and there's a link in Discord. I've put the link in my description. But these beautiful fish are available. And eels and squids. Uh, all sorts of fantastic things. So uh, we're going to get cracking because we've got so many fish to show you. Gagut's Animations has done an absolute amazing job of updating all the animals. And literally every day we get new updates. This is the first public release uh, it's the same one that you will get when you go and download it so we're going to start with the clownfish i think we'll go away from where we were yesterday because we did all the tangs over here didn't we and you notice that they shoal as well because the shoaling abilities so that is really cool where they follow like a little bug thing very clever implementation i do like it uh oh, these ones shoaling over here as well yes they're all following yeah, they're shoaling. So anyway, let's get started with the clownfish, guys. Right, let's put these clownfish in here. Let's start with the snowflake clownfish. Now, I'm going to put it on the grey because it shows these beautiful fish off a lot better. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, the gold nugget maroon. Ooh, that's a new one. Wow. So if you like a particular fish, uh, what I do in, I've put timestamps on the video, guys, because there's so many different varieties. So like I'll put all the clownfish together uh, and then which varieties we get. Wow. And then we'll see. I, I think, I don't know if there's any schooling. I haven't found that yet. We'll have a look. If there's schooling, we'll put the schooling out as well. They're beautiful. A three band clownfish. Wow. A Sebi Sebe Sebe clownfish. You notice all the different ones. Wow. Oh, Seychelles. Seychelles. Oh, I love that. Like you can eat. there's so much detail in these creatures, even the tails. Wow, it's gonna be good when we put all these out in here. Uh clown tang. What? Oh, we missed a tang from yesterday. Oh, sorry, Gagut, and the rest of you. So that's it. Maybe we did do, maybe we, we probably did do this, but uh, yeah, if you didn't, so you go. There's a tang, just to show you people haven't seen yesterday's video. Uh, a McCullochy, McCullochy clownfish. Ooh. Now, it sounds Scottish. It looks like the sort of clownfish we'd expect to find in the UK waters. <laughs> Dull and boring. Right, okay, midnight clownfish. Oh, I love the orange on that. Right, next up, we have a saddleback. Oh, so you notice there's a similar name fish in the tangs and the damselfish as opposed to the, the clownfish as well. There must be a lot more clownfish. Right, here's a very colourful one coming up, guys. Look at that. Wow. Really nice. Right, so we've got wide band. We have a oh, snowflake. I thought we have different bands. We've got different band. What's a wide band, but I like the orange fins. We have a snowflake. <laughs> What's the difference between that? Oh, yes, you can see the difference. So when you think, oh, it's the same. No, it's not. A arcelaris. Now, there's also a playlist, guys, if you want to go and see the playlist. I'm going to put all these in the playlist. Because you can go back and see what they look like originally. Uh, right. Okay. Mauritian clownfish. Ooh. Excellent. Oh, it's a different fish there. 
Maldives clownfish. Oh, look at that. Wow. Whee. A white bonnet. I wonder why it's called a white bonnet. They're very, a very good naming, actually. White bonnet. <laughs> and a tomato. Oh, a tomato, a tomato, a tomato. Oh, that is good because it's like different colour tomatoes, isn't it? Right. Clark's clownfish. Oh. Oh, I like that. A naked ocellaris. So it's almost like the typical goldfish colour. Oh, I love the way they all come flying past. Oh, a maroon clownfish. Oh, skunk, pink skunk. <laughs> I love the way that, you know, you, if you were looking for a particular fish, you could find that pink skunk quite easily, couldn't you, in this? Orange fin. And Gagut's animation has been doing this, I think, nearly two years, probably 18 months, and been updating this add on constantly, nearly every day. Right, Percula, a Percula clownfish. Now, that's a, one that we sort of like, we see all the time. Spine cheek. Ooh, a spine cheek. Wow, it's quite a big one, that one. Wow. Uh, Australian. All from down under. Wow. Is that on the, like, the uh, coral reef? Probably is, actually. And the orange skunk. So this is like the pink skunk. So you can get an orange skunk. It's easy to search uh, for those. Oh, there's millions of them now everywhere. <laughs> it's really cool. You'd have to have a big tank to put all these clownfish in. Wow, big, big, big tank. Right, okay. Next up, guys, we have the clown triggerfish. Oh, is this a triggerfish then? We'll see this again later, okay, because we have got triggerfish. But there you go, sneak peek at the triggerfish. We haven't done that yet, but it might have come out twice. It depends, because there were so many fish, I had to sort of search under particular names. But that's a triggerfish, guys. Uh, Madagascar clownfish. I just love how uh, Gagutz has got all the different oranges and pinks and reds. It's absolutely brilliant how it's done with the palettes. Right, Saddleback. Dun, 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 dun. It's a white saddle. White saddleback, you could call that. A, re a Red Sea. Middle Eastern Red Sea. Wow. Nice. Oh! <gasps> A red saddleback. Right, so you can search. See, once you worked out, you would try searching under the saddlebacks because you could put all the saddlebacks together, which would be really fun. You could actually differentiate between each tank. Wow. <gasps> Gold flake maroon. You could also search under colour, couldn't you? You could put all the similar colours together. Wow. Wow. A Picasso. Very artistic. <laughs> uh, a platinum, a white one with. Oh, that is nice. I like that. Wow. Yeah, we like that. That is cute. A Picasso. Oh, hold on. A premium Picasso. So that's the Picasso, and that's the premium Picasso. Hmm. Hmm, what's the difference? <laughs> I don't know. No, no, I don't think there is anything. It might be just a double. Right, so we're getting to the end of the clownfishes. We've still got a few left. We've got Allard's clownfish. And we've got Oman's clownfish. Oh, that's a Middle Eastern one as well. That's nice, that. That is nice, quite big as well. A Ocellarus clownfish again. Now, did we have one of those? It might be in a different one. Might be just a word for check, uh, Gagats, to see if you've doubled up. And a caramel. Oh, I love caramel ice cream. Don't you love caramel ice cream, guys? Yes. Uh, right, okay. And a Miss Bar Peculiar clownfish. Black Miss Bar Peculiar. It is a very nice clownfish. Clownfish. Wow. 
And the last but not least, the Great Barrier Reef Cownfish, which is Australian. Are you in Australia? Yes, it is. So we just went that. Wow. So, guys, there's the clownfishes. Now, you, we've just gone through them all. Look how many clownfishes now are swimming around here. Oh, my Lord. And they go quite far. So, for me, it may be worth doing a, uh, you know, finding a little ocean like this and doing like an underwater massive aquariums. And cordoning it off probably that's probably the best idea but they are absolutely gorgeous right next up we have anthias female so let's bring these here because it's a good place to show them off anthias there's a few anthias so anthias female oh it's diddy oh wow look at the tail on that super high graphics so what we're finding is gagutz this is one of the newer fish and you can see the detail and gagutz is actually going through all the old fish and giving them an upgrade but you can see these they are superb uh it's orange anthias oh my god i thought that was orange oh female male oh my god look at that let's put those out <gasps> wow they are so good Right, guys, so there is a Bartlett's Anthias, a square spot of male and female. All right, so the Bartlett's hasn't got a male and female, but it is absolutely, if that's the same for both male and female, that is absolutely gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Uh, square spot Anthias uh, male, which is pink, of course. And the female is yellow. Wow. That's like, you know, that is so different, isn't it? Oh, look at them. They're playing. So they have got different. You can see way different animations. So you can have a little tank of Anthias in your zoo. Oh, my God. They're so good. They're, they're, that's my favorite. That's got I've got to get an I've got to get Anthias into the uh, JPEG. I've got to find that. In fact, I might ask a guts to see if I can get a and get the anthea system on there they are just gorgeous aren't they gorgeous guys they are just gorgeous oh they are just fantastic right okay so next up guys we've got parrot fishes so a queen parrot fish oh <gasps> whoa 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 superb <gasps> wow a princess parrotfish. Oh my God, these are absolutely gorgeous. They remind me of koi carp, to be honest. Wow, and a midnight parrot. Oh my God, look at them. That is massive. Whoa. Wow, that is superb. Wow. I am dutifully, dutifully impressed with that. Right, guys, new area for new fish. So we've got a lot of wrasse. So a ton of wrasse. So we're going to bring those over here and start them over here. But you see the fish even spawn in the rivers uh, as well. So really cool. Right, let's start with these then. So we're going to have the six bar wrasse. Okay, guys. <gasps> wow. I didn't until I till Kaguts animations did this. I didn't know what a ras was, guys, but they are absolutely gorgeous. A Christmas ras. <laughs> I wonder why. They are such gorgeous fishes. A saddle ras. Ooh, no saddle on it. But it must be just called a saddle ras. A paddle fin. Oh, is that because it's got a paddle fin at the side? But they seem to all have paddle fins. Maybe you got named different parts of the world, got different. A Red Sea Bird Ras. Oh, it is a ras, but it's a different type, obviously, with a pointy nose. Wow. A Fairy Ras. Oh, yes, these are diddy, 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 diddy. Wow. I know some of them have been working on the rasses recently because I've seen the pictures. A Cleaner Ras. These are diddy, aren't they? These ones. Wow. A black backed wrasse. Ooh. They're so cute and so small. I like the blue. A gold bar wrasse. So we got like distinct two sizes in wrasses. 
Right, next up we have the Sea Green Chorus Rass. Very pretty. A six lined Rass. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So much detail. Wow. A orange back fairy ras. I wonder why it's called a fairy ras, but that I love the orange back. A Ludbock. They are so these are just so good, the colours. Uh, canary ras, canary yellow, of course. A canary top ras. <laughs> Much higher detail. A yellow. Cleaner Rass. Oh, do the rat do they clean different animals? Can't remember now. A yellow patch cleaner Rass. Oh, you can get different varieties of Rass, of course. And an ornate Rass. Oh my word, that's why it's ornate. Let's bring those in. They are ornate, all right. Wow. Okay. Hello, you. <laughs> A sunset Rass. Oh. It's green. I was expecting more yellow, but I can see why it's got sunset because it's got that like after sunset color. Wow. A Klunzinger. Whoa, that is a Klunzinger. All right. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. A Jensen Saddle Rat. Fine, oh, man. These are massive, these ones. Looks like a saddle. A cleaner ass by color cleaner ass. That means you can separate these out. I love the naming strategy because once you work out, well, I'll, put, I'll get rid of that and put them into put all the cleaner asses together. A Maori Napoleon Maori ras. Oh my word! I I did not expect that, guys. That's a biggie. <laughs> Whoa, a clean, never cleaner rass. I love these cleaner rasses. Blue, a moon rass. Oh, yes. So we've got sunset, we've got moon. Have we got sunrise? Might be a sunrise somewhere, I suppose. Oh, it's got like the moon at the back. A Pacific bird rass. Oh, yes. I like these. I've seen these before. It's like the long one. And the Hawaiian cleaner. Oh, that's bright, isn't it? That is well cool. Right, so we've got four rasses left. We've got the one spot cleaner ras. Yeah, I do like the cleaner asses. It'd be good in a little tank. And then Indo specific bird ras female. Oh, that's like the blue one we saw before. Wow, I like that. Yeah, that was like the blue one, wasn't it? And the blue streak cleaner ask. I must admit the cleaner ones are very bright and small. Cute. And then the last but not least, a blue headed ras. Whoa, guys. So we have got so many rasses in here. Unbelievable. Look at that little lot there. Holy moly. Holy moly. No, they're gonna they're all trying to escape, are they? They are, aren't they? Look at that. They're all like now sailing out. They're all off. They're all off sailing off out of my area, but they might get caught in there. Very careful. Right, okay. So next up we have Trevelli Trevallis. Now I know Gaguts has been working on these like this week. So we'll put the Trevallis over here all together because there's not too many. So let's have a look. So we've got a giant Trevally. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. A yellow spotted Trevally. I can't see any yellow spots like. But oh, maybe the little yellow spots on the side. A big eye. Oh, I wonder why that's called a big eye. It's got a big eye. I like these. Uh, a, oh, schooling option. Here we go, guys. Come on, then. Are we going to get... Oh, they're all going to follow each other. Yes, off they go. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that, these lot are following now. So what will happen is... I'll <laughs> put a few more out. Come with it. <laughs> let's see. Let's put one more schooling option here. Come on. Let's see if we can get... 
those two disappear in. Oh, they're off. They're off. There we go. Schooling option trevallies. <laughs> they're off now, guys. Oh, wow. Well, some of them are off. Maybe there's more than one school. They're off. These ones are off anyway. Look at that. There, they're following it. Right. Okay. Right. So we got a few more Trevally to put in here. We got three other types, brightly colored. So let's just see. Are they all like selling off into the wind? Let's just put these here. Right. So let's go. This is a golden Trevally adult. Oh, yes. Look at that. Wow. Uh, Golden Trevally Juvenile. Ooh. Now, I love that because they're different colors, of course. What a good idea. When they're so distinct from being a juvenile to an adult. That is really cool. And last but not least of the Trevallys are the Bluefin. Bluefin. Oh, I can see that, guys. Bluefin. Oh, oh. Are they all now chasing the, uh, chasing the different ones? Wow. They are. Look at that lot. Wow. They are just gorgeous, aren't they? <laughs> so many of them. Right. So now for the spectacular seahorses. Let's find a nice pool for seahorses, guys. Oh, this looks like a nice pool. Nice pool for seahorses. Isn't it? Yes, we'll put them all over here. Oh, we could put them in there. Is that sand? Oh, here we go, guys. We'll put them in here. This looks a good place for seahorses. So seahorses and sea dragons we got coming up next. I know you all love these. So here is the fire red. And I'm a specific. I love seahorses. And when I first saw the seahorses, I thought, oh, my God, do some more. So that's the red one. That's the zebra one. That's the white one. Some more red ones in there. This is the Kuda seahorse. Ah, <gasps> look at that. And here is a Japanese seahorse. Oh my lord, look at those. Just want to put some more out. Just love them. So we've got two more to put out. We got the specific oh Pacific seahorse and the common seahorse. Right, let's have a look at these gorgeous little creatures. They are just so nice. Look at that. They are just so nice. So beautiful. And they're all going off down here. So you need to put them in a sand. You need to put them in a sandy bottom because uh, that just makes a lot of sense. Right. So we have got three sea dragons as well, guys. So let's put these in. Weedy. Ah. <gasps> They've been upgraded. Oh my gosh. A leafy one. And a ruby one. Oh my god. Look at these. Are they so nice or what? Oh my god. Holy moly. Yeah, I just downloaded it just for these. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm so happy about these. These are just so good. Look at that. Oh, my God. They are just so lovely. Wowzer. They are just wows, aren't they, guys? You could just, oh, wow. First tank. That would be the first tank to have these in the first tank. <gasps> they are just so good. Whoa. Right. So excited. Right. Let's get some more out of that box. Right, guys. So we're somewhere else. We did this yesterday in yesterday's video. I'm trying to think what these were. But lots of creatures here. It's all good. There's the Mori Ills. Another favorite of my creature. Oh, yes, we did that yesterday. Anyway, guys. Right. So we're now on to Bastlet. So this is the last chest today. Uh, we've already done two full chests. And that's the third one. And then we'll do the next video tomorrow for the final lot. So let's start with the uh, Candy Bastlet. So did he. So did he. A Swales Swiss Guard Baslet. A Black 
cap bass look that's nice like that but I like i like them all there's just there's so much to see i've just can't get overwhelmed by the seahorses and the sea dragons red candy basslet oh very nice and a randall's basslet oh my god look at that it's so colorful wow peppermint basslet <laughs> like a peppermint sweet isn't it wow i want to go back and see this one and this one and this one and this one those are the bastlets absolutely wonderful right on to the surgeon fish i thought these were big that is a dark surgeon fish very slow moving i love the way all the animations like fit the house slow a white tail surgeon fish so there we go let's just put those two in yeah, see, you can see a difference there. Right, guys, so white spotted surgeon fish. Oh, now that is beauty. We've seen that yesterday, I think, swimming around. That is absolute beauty. You can just imagine how long it takes Gagurts to actually do each fish. Uh, white cheek surgeon fish. Wow. A chocolate surgeon fish. <laughs> a pale surgeon fish. Look at the scales on that. It's like so high detail. A pencil. Ooh. Beauty. A beauty. And a Atlantic blue. My God, I didn't know there's so many surgeon fishes. And last but not least, orange shoulder surgeon fish. Oh, wow. Now, obviously, I'm showing the showcase at this time. There are more in the pipeline. There are so many more fish that uh, will finish once he releases this. It's absolutely brilliant. Right. A trigger fish. So we had a trigger fish earlier. This is a lagoon trigger fish. So whoa, 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 whoa. Look at the detail on that. Oh, my Lord. Right. So an Arabian Picasso trigger fish. That is a trigger fish. Yes, I've got the right ones. I bet Guts had really fun doing these ones. Pink tail triggerfish. A clown triggerfish. We saw this earlier, didn't we, guys, when we did the clownfish? But we'll see it again. Because it's so nice. A Niger, a Niger, Niger, probably Nigerian uh triggerfish. Wow. That's nice as well, isn't it? Uh, rectangular triggerfish is it because it's got rectangular patterns on it more like a diamond triggerfish i would say beautiful colors though a half moon oh yes that is so nice half moon triggerfish the triggerfish is so serene right last but not least that is blue jaw whoa i see why it's got a blue jaw all right and it Wow. Look at those fish, guys. Oh, oh my God. There are just so many. <laughs> it is just amazing. <laughs> you just look at the fish across the whole way. There's just so many of them. <laughs> oh, wow. Right. Okay. So we're on to the gobies. We've got one to stow off, which is the fire goby. So we got a fire goby. These are diddy, but absolutely cute. Oh, my God. Look at that. Holy moly. Right, guys. We've got two more little gobies. The hell fridgey fire. It's like hell fire goby. Oh, my God. They are beautiful. And a elegant fire goby. So only three varieties of the goby, but they're all absolutely beautiful. Right, what's this? A caplin. What is a caplin? It's a beautiful fish, but I didn't know what a caplin is. They're obviously common fish, I think, the caplins. That's nice, isn't it? That is. Right, okay. Oh, we're looking at these. The mandarin fishes, guys. I've been looking forward to these. 
So let's start with the blue mandarin. Let me just get these. Look how cute it is. Look at that. Then a spotted mandarin. Ooh, 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 ooh. as well spotted square spots. And a red mandarin. <gasps> oh my lord, look at that. How bright is that? Oh wow. Right guys, so we got silver sweep. Now the silver sweep come in a schooling option, so I'm gonna put it over here. So we put the school sweep. Uh, He's also working on, oh my God, look at that. They're working on some of the, there's some new corals here. And I'm not sure which is new corals. I may look at that at the end. But anyway, here is the silver sweep, guys. Dun, 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 and then we can school it. Did you see that then? Here it goes. The silver sweep are here. So let's just do that. Put some more, oh, put some more in. Will they all go off? Yes, they will. So there's the schooling option for the silver sweep. Beauty. Right, now we're going to get into the dangerous animals. We're going to go over here out the way uh, because we've got some sharks. Okay, guys, some sharks. Uh, so I'm sure people will skip through to see the sharks. Right, so here is the great hammerhead shark. <sighs> wow, we got sharks. We got sharks. Oh, my Lord. Sharks, hammerhead shark. Wow. Look at that. Oh, go on. Eat them. Eat the dread. I hate the dread. It's one of the worst Minecraft animal uh, creatures. I hate them. Sorry. Uh, right. A, a white whale shark. This has got to be massive. Oh, yes. It is massive, guys. It's massive. The whale shark. Wow. Whale shark, and last but not least, the black tip reef shark. Oh, these go down here, don't they? They like, oh, yes, they do. They do the reef shark. Wow. Whoa. Oh, yes, they kill the dread. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy. Wow, I'm so happy they kill the dread. I am very happy indeed. Ah, oh, well done, Guts. Brilliant to introduce some sharks. Look at that. The dread are getting killed off. Oh, I love it. Oh, my word. How good is that? How good is that, guys? That is superb. Right, so we've got a couple more fish to show you. We've got spade fish. So let's have a look at this, guys. This is the opicular spade. Oh, it does look like a spade. A big spade. That is nice, isn't it? I'm glad to say the sharks don't eat everything. Atlantic spade fish. Whoa, look at these. Oh, I just like these. Wow. Right, something's eating something here. Oh, the Mori, it's the Mori eel. Sounds like something's dying. Yeah, so we got two more spade fish, guys. We've got the pinnet spade fish. Where's those other spade fish gone? Where are they all gone? Over here, over here. Come on. Maybe I put one on the sand and didn't mean to. There, that's how I look at that. Right, so that is the that one. Wow. Oh, I love these are new. I've never these were never in the original versions. These are super duper. And not last but not least, the pinnet spade fish. Oh yes, look at that. Oh my god, look at that. Wow. So, as you can see, guys, <laughs> the, uh, the, oh, it's that shark. Oh, my God. Did that shark spawn on its own? Oh, that, oh, there's the, oh, yes, they might have spawned now. They are there. So, there comes the end of part two. Really enjoy. I really enjoyed this add-on. It's superb. But you would have to build the world's biggest aquarium to put all these in because there are just so many varieties. Maybe you have a favorite. Uh Go and uh, put some comments in the description because I know Kaguts Animation looks at the description. Hope you enjoyed that video. Obviously, we still got four more chests, guys. Uh, and the chests, the chests have things like dotty backs and mahis and.
Barracudas. Oh, yeah. And we've got all these angel fishes, guys. We've got loads of angel fishes. Uh, yellow back, fusiliers, and more angel fishes, mullets. Uh, and we've got soldier fish and chromis and cardinal fish. Got cardinal fish? More cardinal fish. Yes, cardinal fish. And manta rays. Oh, my God. There's so much to see. Right. There you go. All information in the description. Love to see your comments on it. This is the most comprehensive fish mod in minecraft whether it be bedrock or the other <laughs> java anyway guys thanks very much for watching and see you very soon bye bye